Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. Seems like here, sun and well-being, there's so many good opportunities are going to be coming your way. However, in this mix, we have a feather. We have a person here, someone you know, is undependable or and insincere. And a goldfish states increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Okay, we're going to dive into your cup in a minute. And then at the end, I'm going to be looking into your uh, general reading, also like romance cards, what's coming for you. But it seems like um, you are actually going to be in a very good position very soon. Um, like if you're not feeling good already, okay? Uh, seems like your optimism will follow like the the material wealth and spiritual growth will follow after the optimism okay when you have a positive view it seems like you're going to be able to see the opportunities better the thing is though the feather can symbolize someone who's not really um in your mix it's not really aligned with your future plans so be aware of someone if someone is putting your energy down someone is bringing you down okay Let's pull up a card. We're going to be looking at the card at the end of your reading to see if it approves the message coming forward. And then I'm going to be moving on to your cup. By the way, this is Divine Life. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your reading. If you're new here, welcome. And if you have been here for a while, don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe and support the Beautiful Soul community and become a part of this Beautiful Soul family. And I will also leave a link up here for private readings if you're interested. Let's jump in right away. Before I even start, I see a crescent moon. I see a full circle surrounding this. This basically... Um, your energy field, you are expanding outside of your saucer. So whatever it is that you have as a desire, you ha you're going to expand outward, okay? I feel like this actually uh, here, the sun energy, expansion energy here with the sun coming forward, your hands, your energy field is going to be spreading outside of your comfort zone, which can be scary, so we're not going to go with like negative intentions, bad intentions. I feel like this feather can be someone who already has like a very contracted lifestyle. So they might not really see what's coming and they might be putting things down as soon as you come up with the idea. Initially, I see in your heart space, there is a massive rock. Like you can see like a rock right there, um, but it is crumbling down. The rock can indicate establishment, the strength, but because they don't really have the capacity to move um, by themselves on their own, this indicates maybe you have been in the place that you have uh, for a while now, okay? Which is not a good, bad thing. It is actually with the course of the existence, this is what was supposed to be in order for you to collect the minerals like we have this massive salt lamp here. Maybe this is like a piece of salt as well. Now it's time to become, um, you know, something that is beneficial for you. All the experience that you have gathered where you are, all the knowledge. I was actually listening to this audio book from Dr. Joseph Murphy today, Telepsychics. And he says there, your age doesn't really represent like uh, your uh, Age is not really something that actually pulls you down, but it launches you forward because age means that you have a lot of experience in the field and area. And so if you're younger, though, let's say you're younger, you don't really have many experiences. That's a, that's a positive thing, too, because it means that you can put on to your basically fill up your backpack with the information that will be really useful for you along the journey of the full journey of um, life. OK. I see here, though, you gathered something, even though you're young or old, doesn't matter the age, you have something that is going to be extremely useful for you and maybe even for others. There are two different pathways opening up. One of them actually looks like a snake to me here. You can see, kind of looks like a possum as well, but it kind of reminds me of that cobra that comes out of that basket, the, the person that um, whistles, blows the whistle. 
flute can actually raise it up. Uh, snake usually symbolizes the health matters and seems like you're going to get the control of some of the health matters. It doesn't have to be physical or can be also mental. If you're having a hard time, you're feeling heavy. I don't see any evil eye in your heart space, but it seems like something holding you down can be maybe a crescent moon here, a legal matter. Maybe because of a legal matter, you haven't stuck where you are for a long time, which is weighing you down. I have your private message here. This is actually like came through while I was listening to Bob Proctor and also uh, like uh, the alter ego here came forward. Alter ego can be someone that actually uh, nailing you where you are right now. Okay, be aware of that. And this snake indicates maybe you're overcoming that. You're actually coming to understand that this is not your uh, thing anymore. This is not like your... Um, not your circus, not your monkey. That basically, that was keep coming into my mind. And I was keep, I find that really funny as a saying, because like, it doesn't really like um, have so much of a, you know, um, literal meaning. But like, um, so now I'm thinking you're coming to realize that now I see it makes sense to me. And first of all, your uh, um, channeled message came forward as this from a... Uh, a Course in Miracles, where would you want me to go? What would you want me to do? What would you want me to say and to whom? So if you're feeling hard time to maybe even uh, get answers and you don't know what to do at this moment, you can use this prayer and your alter ego, your fully realized version of yourself basically is going to speak through you, speak uh, through the prayer, okay? Answer the prayer. So I see there's a legal paper showing up. You're going to overcome this challenge holding you back. I see a massive face of someone kind of looks like a bear. Bear can symbolize someone, an authority figure. Authority figure can be helping you with your uh, healing or also maybe the healing is going to come after the victory that you obtain. And then the pathway is opening right here and the pathway is leading you to a legal paper, a legal opportunity. The legal paper can be a travel opportunity. I don't see a pathway opening outside of your comfort zone, but there are like a conversations happening about it. Maybe you're planning after the fact and um, this person with a big head will be uh, helping you get the victory, maybe even arrange this beautiful new opportunity for you. I see here there is actually a woman now with a hat. She has like a high collar. She lifted her collar up. A uh, collar usually indicates someone working with pen and paper, basically like white collar um, is a representative of that kind of like a crunchy number type of business, like the desk jobs basically, but dealing with a lot of money. So this person can be someone like that. And uh, I feel like here when you actually sign this legal paper or receive this legal paper, you're going to get the chance to work with this lady. I see that she's actually, there's another higher co uh, character here at a higher position. I see letter V as in Victoria. I see an N. Why New York, maybe in New York, a uh, woman has a hat, kind of reminds me of someone artistic with this V neckline. And she has a cup on her shoulder, can be a Queen of Cups you're dealing with here. You have the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, basically. So this woman can be someone who is in the scene, maybe you're going to help her. Um, and what's coming to me is like maybe designing clothing or uh, being a manager for someone who is famous. I know this is so extreme, but it can be something, maybe getting in touch with someone who actually has uh, influence in people. If you have a product, maybe getting in touch with them, um, maybe collaborating with this kind of people can be the idea, or even getting inspired by the energy. Another thing, yes, that's what I was, that now makes sense, kind of reminds me of Marilyn. And um, I was like thinking alter ego word came through and I started thinking about the Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe had an alter ego. She wasn't actually day by day. She wasn't that personality that she puts on the screen. She created someone uh, fabulous, the energy of that um, fabulous women that uh, became instantly attractive to people. So I'm not saying this in the sense of negative, take the negative examples of what happened to her. I'm talking about the energy, like changing the energy instantly. Okay. So if you're feeling like uh, maybe this is you, you're becoming this, uh, showing yourself off your skills and like your talents and maybe getting that uh, attraction 
to desires, their desires, you're attracting your desires faster when you have that confidence energy. And but I see feminine energy. Like if you're a male watching this, you might be thinking, like, do I supposed to be feminine? No. Feminine energy indicates creativity, gentleness, gentle attitude. Okay. If you are actually a doer, always like in a masculine fashion with an aggressive voice, maybe, this suggests that gentleness tactfulness is going to act, get you where you want to be faster maybe even this is um, um, fame that you're after the fortune that you're after the gentleness a gentle attitude speaking to the universe gently is the key here this can also be like i said there's a woman showing up in your life maybe giving you the key i see there's a hammer right under her uh, kind of looks like a letter t like tiffany the T can be like looking like a hammer too. She might even give you, hand you over a tool that you can use. But like I said, the hammer has two functions. You can like uh, put a nail on the wall. You can build something. You can put the woods and beams together and build a house. Or you can demolish a wall with the hammer. So it is going to be your approach, the, depending your approach, how to use these tools. I see there's a waterfall coming down here, downhill. Water is emotions, but it also indicates emotional fulfillment. And waterfall coming really rushing. Water also indicates, I feel like, the abundance of the creator of all that is, abundance of the uh, planet Earth. So we have like plenty, more than enough, even if our bodies are like three quarters of liquid so uh, this is actually like abundant resources flowing into your life representative of that and watering this tree of life here tree of life has a lot of meaning the shamanic sense we have in the higher realms we don't see the roots here we see the upper um, part of the tree which is actually like receiving intuitive guidance and i actually know about intuition basic level and i started to research more about it. It is very important that tool that we can use, like imagination, visualization, and also intuition is extremely useful while you are making something happen or you're being guided. We're always being guided by angels, spirits, and guides. And it seems like here you're going to have create that higher connection. I see a number eight on the tree. So you might get some intuitive nudges about maybe financial success, financial investments. Pay attention to that. And um, this kind of reminds me like a fish actually swimming under the waterfall. Like the emotional satisfaction can actually carry a big, massive financial success to you as well. Can be happening simultaneously too. Okay. Um, what else? I see right next to the tree of life, kind of like an ant eater here. Reminds me of Peppa Pig too. I have a child, so I know <laughs> the cartoons characters very well. Um, Peppa Pig, if you ever watch the show, like uh, it's a cartoon, it's a very peaceful little girl, basically. Uh, has a very good family, grandfather, grandfathers, grandmothers. And this is basically, like, I feel like this is about, like, ancestral help. help. Angelic help will be coming to you, like, from above. And um, even if you have, like, these pillars in front of you, maybe you're going to be entering into a big space, which has a lot of pillars. I see a male figure here with a white uh, beard, maybe bald. Maybe someone has a captain's hat has like someone like it reminds me of like a pilot you see he has like a microphone in front of his mouth this person can carry you in a space that has like long pillars maybe we can take this in the literal sense maybe you're going to go into an interview with someone who does communications maybe a pilot you know they wear this headset to talk to people in the plane announce something to announce something and maybe you're going to go into like a big building to have an interview with this person. Or this can be in the sense of uh, maybe just crossing one. If you take it as like a gateways, one, two, like two gateways, two passages, two interviews. There are two things coming your way. Okay, pillars can be like one, two, three, four different pillars. This kind of reminds me of one of those under underwater under caves underwater, or like deep de uh, 
deep caves, not underwater basically, but they're deep wet caves. It kind of reminds me of that as well. If you're going for like an excursion, uh, seems like here you are going to be, you're going to need help and either can be someone who actually clears the pathway for you. I see there's a male figure here with a hat who has a wand in his hand. Can be Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, maybe even a magician who can make things happen. Like you need definitely guidance in this place. The magician can change person to person. Can be a Gemini or a Virgo. If you're going into a financial endeavor, this person can be an accountant. If you're going into a legal matter, this person can be a lawyer. If you want to start a new business, this can be an advisor, financial advisor, if this is about like um finances or if you are planning to sell a product this can be about someone who has experience about the product okay but the feather is telling me someone you know is undependable and sincere so i feel like this energy you don't have this person here but maybe uh hmm. this man here can be that energy but i see someone sneaky here someone actually like has a cup in their hand can be also cancer pisces scorpio that person may be the feather here, okay? Be aware of that. But here, in the timeline, can be like maybe 11 days or 11 weeks or so, you're going to be entering into this space, and you're going to have a lot of guidance here. This can be finding a new job, uh, maybe entering into an interview room. If you want to go to school, can be that. Even there are like four different pathways. This can be four different passages that you need to get, gates that you're going to go through um in the airport if you're planning to move to another country it can be that one okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire and intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be i see a hanged man right here you see the head the head the legs hanged upside down whatever that you desire basically the universe says your wish is my command but now it's changed into a woman with a head head and she has like a crown on top of her head and i see a fish right next to her okay kind of looks like a crescent moon as well but the, not the crescent but the waning moon the other way around gibbous meaning gibbous anyways hangman is the pisces energy someone might be actually trying to change your perspective to help you see there's a better approach in your situation that can cause a little delay in your manifestation in your desire but then when i flipped it i see there's a woman showing up with a queen energy empress maybe a taurus or a libra and this person has like a cup in their hand offering their offering is going to be something useful for you compared to the one who is actually being sneaky like small here okay your desire is splitting up into two i feel like you're you're going to actually receive a second desire unexpectedly when you follow the the guidance of the women the woman doesn't have to be someone that you know face to face this can be a, someone that you're taking classes from like watching online uh getting advice from okay i see there's a dog right next to her this person has a, a dog meaning a dog can indicate someone loyal to you or they have a loyal business loyal customer base um that can be like uh, another thing but they are going to be helpful for you, okay? I see letter T again, like Trisha. That's the first name came to me. Trisha, Tracy, Trixie. Trixie is not really, I don't think that's like a legal name. Okay, that's just, that's the name coming to me. This woman's name can be that, okay? Tracy. Yeah. And she is actually helping you expand this energy field. I see here there's a W appearing, kind of showing up. The W indicates the wind. And there is also a windmill right here. Windmills um, are energy creators. And you can also grind um, back in the day. The, that's how the people actually grinded their wheat, turned into a flower. Which is... Um, a useful tool basically okay it's outside of your reach right now but in maybe we can say three quarters of a time or we can say like seven days seven weeks later you might get access to that um wheat farm i was gonna say wheat farm but this is actually like a windmill okay 
Um, don't think of it in the physical sense, but it can be in the physical sense as well. This can be a space that will give you the inspiration that you need to become the success that you want to be. Um, or also, it can be even in the name of a place that you're going to go, okay? Or in the last name of a person that you're going to come across. Like a male can be a last name, okay? We're going to do the general reading now with the tarot. I have the angel tarot here from Radley Valentine. I love his decks because they have such high energy. I feel like he's like loading these with his high energy. Okay, let's get to it. Let's see. My angel spirits and guides, please guide me through what my beautiful Scorpios needs to know at this moment. Thank you. Page of Ariel, we have someone reliable, clever, educated, balanced, younger energy though, someone enthusiastic, can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We have, I said that woman looks like Empress, a Taurus, but I don't feel like this is the same energy. This is someone younger, someone who has a lot of enthusiasm and also um, balanced, basically someone structured as well, not only like... Um, they like to try new things. They're not like the fire energy. They're not wild. They're basically planned. They know what they want. And I feel like this is amazing help coming to you as well. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Education, don't think of it like you have to start going to school and study like four years or anything like that. This can be three-day seminar that you're picking up a profession. Okay, uh, there are many like maybe energy healing seminars out there, uh, like NLP seminars or um, like sales classes, all that stuff. Even like to Anthony Robbins, like he has this kind of like things. I, uh, I don't know how it affects people, but I watched one like that they recorded. Like you don't know how a live thing feels like, but recording usually seems better. But that kind of like a things can be life transforming if you are in the right place in the right time. Okay, I'm not advertising anyone because like I don't know how they actually the things work in those kind of mat matters. But if you're coming across with that, you know what? That can be like something that will help you out. Uh, the emperor here. So like another thing can be a book club as well. I just found out there's like a book club in my city that they're reading like a psycholo psycho psychology books, like uh, heavy ones, like from Freud and like um, Carl Jung and stuff like that. Like I'm planning to attend to that, even though it is like one hour education. It's not educational. It's just conversational, but it can actually open some things, my mind to some things. Okay. That kind of opportunities, what I'm talking about, educational doesn't have to be boring, it can be something fun as well. The emperor is the Aries energy. Basically you are, I feel like that big headed person is like being here, a leader, which will help you out to figure things out. The emperor energy, the Aries energy is not like Leo energy. Leo is the leader, okay? They tell you what to do, they guide you, and um, they are like a team leader basically. But the emperor is the one who leads. They take charge, they just take charge in the sense of take responsibility, accountability. They say, you know what, I'm going to go see how that is going to work, and then I'm going to tell you how you can do it easier, okay? That's what the energy of the emperor is. And someone like that is going to be coming into your life. And I feel like you might be embodying this energy too. Maybe the information that you acquire will actually help you lead people. This can be at work. This can be your regular uh, family environment, um, friend environment, can be even like overall life. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation and ambitious plans. Okay, let's see a little bit your uh, your uh, channel message here too. It says, who are you being? Scared, overwhelmed, let your inner adult to step in. I feel like that can be also emperor as well. Changing is key. Flexibility, also letting your alter ego, your inner king or queen to protect your inner child. Okay, I said confirmity, no. <laughs> You do not have to get inside the boxes you do not fit. Age of Aquarius demands you to express your authenticity. Time is now. Okay? Okay. Aquarius didn't get this message. You got it, guys. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Basically, whatever that you're going to learn very soon, 
or the, the environment that you're going to step in will give you a lot of power, uh, authority, maybe even put you in a very um, in a place that will be filled with authority figures. But you have to defend your territory when it comes to that. You have to have strong boundaries and know the full sentence. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone, okay? Um, but when you have that, like I feel like when you have that confidence that knows a complete sentence confidence in your voice, no one can ask the second time. I feel like that's the thing here. The emperor actually has that energy. I don't feel like emperor gets to be asked something twice here, okay? And king of Ariel, then you're going to evolve into this Ariel, the uh, king of pentacles. Um, basically like a strong, powerful energy. This can be a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn giving you the hand you need as well along the way because we have someone coming younger maybe they're going to be maturing along the way with you and being there for you we're going to be looking into the love messages too but also it seems like here this person you can be becoming this embodying this energy too it doesn't matter male or female this is actually taking charge of the situation okay um in a masculine way like giving the orders ordering to the universe what you would like okay Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. This can be love too, by the way. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. Another thing very important is using resources wisely. Important here because it seems like you're going to manifest a lot, a lot of them with a goldfish. Let's get to the explanation. King of Wands coming forward with the energy here. We have the Wands energy in your cup. So it seems like you might get some advice from a friend to maybe learn something new or maybe get an invitation to um, an environment that you need to be in at the moment. Your intuition, your intuition will guide you. Or this can be like a new adventure for you too, okay? Even though learning doesn't really sound a little adventurous thing, this can be something fun and adventurous for you. The Emperor holding here Four of Pentacles. I feel like you need to, when you gain the power, you need to hold on to it, okay? You shouldn't be spending it um, in an uncomfortable, I want to say uncomfortable way. Uh, un the way it makes you uncomfortable, basically. The learning to say no afterwards is coming forward is very important here because when you have authority, you might get asked a lot of favors, okay? I have Knight of Cups here. When you hold your ground, some other uh, massive, you see the cup, biggest cup is, uh, opportunity will come to you. You're going to be getting offered something really satisfying. And seven of ones again, okay. So it seems like here, you see he has actually a lot of arrow uh, on his body. So the feather now it makes sense because you see these like arrows has feathers on their back like someone that you have close to your heart try to maybe sabotage you be aware of that but eventually we have six of cups someone from the past this can be someone from your past or someone that you know from your childhood can be a family member can be like a childhood friend because what happens is when you evolve outside of their comfort zone what people does is they try to pull you back into that space okay you might be dealing with that kind of energy too but if you keep going forward if you do not back down we have the three of cups here this is actually appreciation celebration success and enjoying the fruits of the hard labor friends and family coming forward and supporting you fully Okay, you're not going to be left alone. You're going to actually find, maybe even create that community that will support you fully. Okay, let's see what's going on in your love life. If you have a specific person in your mind, the answers can be much more clear holding on to the question. Or if you don't have anyone and if you're having like struggles or maybe you don't want anyone, we can check to see why. What happened there and how you can actually evolve out of it okay let's go nine of swords a fear like exactly I, I i feel like i am feeling it before the card comes forward maybe something happened in the past now you're having nightmares because you keep feeling okay the same thing is going to happen again the person coming forward is not really going to make you happy they're going to maybe stress you out and that's why you don't want to start a new relationship you don't want anyone else in your life okay and um, maybe there's somebody better out there 
This is actually a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you keep thinking bad things are going to happen, that can go that way. Okay, be aware of that. But the sun is coming up. Double sun can be a Leo coming forward here. Sun is a lot of optimism, good news, good things coming forward. The thing about Strin is I always have Strin here. I had two, but one of my cats actually kicked them off of there <laughs> in the morning. So Strin is the crystal of wealth, abundance, money. So uh, this person can be someone wealthy coming forward, optimistic, joyful, playful, and they can, with their energy, bring more of it into your life as well. King of Wands is also leo so this person you might actually come across with someone very like um well in the sense of very well established but also very optimistic happy and full of life and that can change that darkness nine of swords energy within you page of wands like i said aries your sagittarius someone with a lot of fun and um, excitement adventure in their in them will be showing up here this can be also change in the attitude and we have here frida frida is coming the third time for the set of readings that i have done for this whole zodiac i think came for leo and sagis hmm. no i didn't do them though i don't read them yet okay so but i keep hearing leo there's a leo coming forward for you leo likes to have fun wine and dine the person that they like they like to enjoy the beauties of life and also uh if this is someone a healthy leo they love themselves and they actually reflect that love to the person they love too they just you know basically give them all they have so this can be someone like that four of swords again the four two fours is actually stability it's a good sign here but also it seems like when this person comes forward you're going to have time to rest Okay, this person is not going to be, even though it's a fire sign, adventurous, spiky, maybe someone who had, I don't think this is going to be someone spontaneous and impulsive. This is going to be someone who's established with the Leo energy. They're going to have this emperor, that king of jungle, stable, the queen of the jungle, maybe someone who is confident within themselves. They're not going to tire you, basically. They're going to help you rest even okay which is a great thing i even have the high priestess here and a nine of cups under the deck so high priestess is a very knowledgeable woman the person can be coming into your life can be that also maybe you're going to be in this queen status here you're going to be feeling what's happening you're going to have time to listen to your intuition you're going to have very calm chill and like supportive and loving thing here happening nine of cups is your all of your wishes fulfilled they're going to be all aligning in the best way possible when this person shows up okay um let's see what else do we have here and we have like um i'm gonna get some ex um clarifiers for these um, conformity no conformity can be in the sense maybe your friends are actually have certain specific type of people men or women in their life and you're like looking up to it but you might be like um dating someone or you might have someone outside of the box in your life and um this is basically like do not be a victim of the conformity because if you're not someone um which fits in every box then it would be abnormal for you to have someone who fits in every box okay like that you know every hole <laughs> on you know that little kid's toy marriage okay nine of swords coming up with a marriage maybe you're afraid of getting married because what happens is uh, if you had um that kind of negative experiences it doesn't have to be one-to-one -one. maybe you saw negative experiences from the parents from your friends they had like this kind of marriage uh, negative things happening in the marriage this might be like becoming your nightmare to have someone a stable relationship you can see the marriage as someone's stable relationship okay but we have courtship coming forward so you're going to be whining and dining someone is going to actually pursue you when there is a definite change coming ahead with this person this person like thinking um like differently outside of the box basically like i said and the change is like packing up and moving this came in the literal sense packing up and moving on to a new place or maybe moving in together or this can be something like 
the territory that you're in right now, this fear territory, nine of swords territory, you're going to be jumping into a uh, better territory, which has love, support, uh, partnership, um, you know, friendship, and also increase in material wealth and spiritual growth as well. This can be someone who's wealthy and they have maybe opportunity to travel the world and you can be the companion to them or even something that maybe someone, if you want to raise children, can be that or um, spend your retirement time can be that. We have a mature man with the high priestess energy. So very balanced. Okay, very balanced. I see the expectation here and a gift. So... Uh, you can expect a gift coming from this person here, the high priestess or the mature man. But I feel like the expectation with the gift, I feel like this energy will have uh, a lot of balance in the sense of the balance masculine and feminine. So it's not going to be one side actually like doing everything and the other part is actually getting things to be done all the time. It is going to be balanced and helpful, like a very scaled partnership. And this is expectation... When you expect a good gift from the creator of all that is, I don't feel like you should be depending your, um, you know, putting all your eggs in one basket or putting your eggs in the basket of a men or women rather than putting into the divine energy, the expectation, the expecting from the divine to deliver, uh, always delivers the best. Okay. I feel like here. There's a mature man. They're both looking at each other, masculine and the feminine, supporting each other's uh, life and the choices. And also, it seems like this is going to be a divine gift for you when this relationship starts happening in your life. Or if you have already something, when you expect the gift to come to you, when you expect the positive things to happen, it will happen that way. The positivity will actually fill your life. Okay. All right, guys, let's see. What's happening here? I, I, I also saw here this woman has like a massive fish surrounding her head. And like there is a bird trying to maybe catch the fish too. Uh, this woman can be someone who has a lot of ideas of like material satisfaction. Okay. Or material growth. And um, bird can be the their talking mind. Or maybe their talking abilities. That they're going to be expressing this to you. We have self-express, okay, this one to come to as well. Throat chakra. Let me tell you how many people actually got the throat chakra. I feel like there's all, we're all blocked because we're not really speaking our truth here. Self-expression is extremely important and ether element hum, you can use the hum chant in order to unblock this chakra or wear something blue. Also your crown chakra, third eye came forward and we have the V as a message. This doesn't have a sound. We have the swans, they made for life, Ankh, the feminine energy, butterflies, the transformation, and the peace also coming forward. You might have these chakras blocked, okay? The throat and the, the third eye. You can wear something blue. You can eat something blue or purple. This can help unblock it. What happens is then you can actually receive the third eye chakra from like intuitive guidance, imagination, visualization can be faster. You can use that faculties, those faculties to speak your truth and demand what you want from the universe, from the people. Okay. The passion felt in me cannot help but be expressed as I use my voice to put my message, wisdom, and teaching out in the world. Can be the teaching, the things that you learn. You can teach them. The, you can write them, uh, speak them. Okay? What I have to say is important and I will say it. I now make myself heard as my heart and soul expresses through my body, eyes, and voice. I speak up. My body, eyes, and voice. So you can write with your body, eyes, uh, whatever that you see, your inner eye, you can draw it, paint it, and speak it up, okay? Whatever that you need to express yourself right now, it's very important. I am blessed to be a part of the one. I honor and cherish my brothers and sisters, past, present, and future, who journey with me. Difference and polarity are not a threat, but an alternative view and experience. I embrace the shared experience of myself and others as eternal beings. So it's seen we are one basically we are connected i feel like that's what the creator of all that is is it's like an energy that our souls are connected like the fingers <laughs> not the fingers but like the lines of energy are connected to our bodies and we're all one 
with the energy of the creator of all that is seems like here that's the message coming forward maybe that kind of like um thinking can unlock your crown chakra your intuition so you can receive messages from the higher um creator of all that is let's see we have akashic tarot here this is a different structure so i'm going to get some help from the booklet because it doesn't have regular yeah as you can see uh uriel and sphinx we have sphinx as you know it was actually built in the age of leo that's why it was a lion's head but then they turned it into one of the pharaoh's head so we have a lot of leo leadership energy in your reading and i'm telling you there there might be a leo coming into your life as well or maybe if you have like a problem with a leo this can be resolving here okay um, the Archangel Uriel stands before the Sphinx under a full moon. The Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion indicating strength and the head of a king showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the enigmatic and inscrutable, the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world. This card shows that it's time for you to do most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life the digging and inner discovery that takes you to deepest self uh, and, and your deepest power it seems like here this is not only like a leo coming forward you're finding your full power the full moon is the emotions uh, coming to surface so you can transform them it seems like you're going to actually have your inner um goddess or god coming to surface as well don't think of the god as in the sense of uh, the creator of the worlds and the heavens and the uh, hells and all that think of the god when i say your inner god inner child your inner creator that can help you actually change your life around okay universe is mental if you know about like the um hermetics I think I forgot the name of the book. There is a book. There are like the 12 hermetics, hermetic law of the universe. And they say everything starts in the mind. Okay. This could be a teacher, a mentor, or even a friend who shares a kinship with you about this inner quest. It seems like, yes, I feel that energy that you're going to get someone. Someone is coming into your life that will guide you um, towards a pathway which will unlock some of powers some powers like i said when somebody i tell you somebody comes in this doesn't have to be someone that you know face to face this can be someone that you're watching following their guidance i recently started watching bob proctor he's not even uh, with us anymore but his teachings are timeless so it can be someone like that find balance find a balance between your work rest and play time and you will have more energy harmony and productivity in your life Take a power nap. Beautiful. Power naps are really important, guys. <laughs> Let's get to the final one. Security. Then you will find the security. I feel like security is actually coming forward with the relationship part. And also the work part. If you have like this feather energy with someone, work, money, financials. Uh, that negative people, negative people who put you down, maybe not uh, support you, will disappear very soon. And you will find that security um that will actually maybe get you out of fight flight or freeze mood you're going to be in the mood of a mode of peace and love and abundance prosperity very soon okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you wouldn't see more of, more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye